And by the way, uh, one more thing is I got this little thing left that I just totally forgot, but always be careful and thank you for being awesome. So uh, thank you, David. Uh, we missed the sweet flight test, and actually flight test is the one that got me started in the multi-copters. Thank you, David. Okay, we're going to get started again. We're going to build the camera plate. I went ahead and actually uh, just took my clamps and go ahead and just make sure that they'll physically fit. One tip from the previous uh, video or the opening, I opened it up incorrectly. This is the front score this side and then the top and then you have this nice enclosure here you actually glued it up at the top so you can put your uh, stuff in here to kind of get organized because as we know most of the building is just trying to find everything you need and one thing I did notice is like I said this is made of plastic versus the flight test here and I have a feeling we have a way in when there's a difference, but this one, um, get this corrected here. But if I go and I zero it out first. You can see it's about um, 0.08 or millimeters. It's about maybe two millimeters. And this material looks like it's about the same. It's 2.41. That's the top plate. 2.27. And then this is, here we go, 4 point, actually it ends up being about the same. So they're both about 2 millimeters, and the plywood is maybe a little lighter, so we'll see how that works. Okay, getting back to this, um, again I like to kind of mock it up first with begin the glue. You need your medium CA glue, which I like better than using thin because thin is a little easier to get messy. Um, also, I like just keep a cloth or something in case it leaks. Um, the thin was, I found for sure, was sometimes it was easy to get in your fingers and uh, do things like you didn't want, like the clamps. So, anyway, that's how it here, and we David said he wanted to go ahead and scuff it up a little bit here so I can find the block of sand. I'll go ahead and rough it up a little bit. I did. You can see I've used this uh, before for something else, but this will let it get a little bit rough you notice also the enclosures they went ahead and they actually have that already uh, done so this is already kind of rough already so we'll go ahead and we'll use our glue The main thing is having contact, good contact with wires and uh, this here to ensure that you get a, you can see even the medium is pretty liquid. So we want to go in the head spill things. Go ahead and fit the wires. I 
Are you amazing? Or are you? Don't want to. Um, get your fingers. And then put that in there. And I've had experience that it's quite easy to glue yourself. And we use these clamps to uh, Actually, have some accelerator. As you can see, it doesn't take long. To stick it. And I've also got some of this accelerator. I don't think I really need to use, but I'll go ahead and put it in there to get the capillary action. These clamps I got from Harvard Freight. Um, and be careful not to get the glue or you can glue the clamps to the thing. So anyway, I uh, did a good job there of gluing myself. And need to, like I say, try to wipe off the excess glue. Um, makes a mess. And I will have to say it's really nice to have um, have these wires already bent. Should I try to bend them yourself? So anyway, I'll put that to the side. Hopefully next time I'll have the camera mounted a little better and uh, we'll get into doing soldering on the ESCs and the motors. Uh, that's all for now.